Hey guys, I'm no scientist. I'm no um, I'm no established tech reviewer, but I fancy my knowledge on technology. And today I'm going to be talking about Mac OS Catalina. Um, my wallpaper is not one of the included wallpapers, so don't worry about that. I recently upgraded to Mac OS Catalina. Um, I will tell you how much time exactly. Um, okay, so today is 28 December. I've had Mac OS Catalina for 25 days. I think this is a sufficient time to know what I actually feel about this machine, um, this operating system, I mean. This is a MacBook Pro Touch Bar 2018 model. It should be able to handle everything which Catalina throws at it, except I feel that there is a bit of ghosting when I go through this. And also sometimes, uh, uh, so this is called the launch pad. When I go to the launch pad and I try to scroll around, I don't know, man, I can see ever, I can see a lot of ghosting. Like, why is it like not smooth? It should be like, you know, more zippy. I'm not running MacBook. Uh, I'm not running this on a MacBook Air 2014. This is the MacBook Pro 2018 pimped out, you know, which costs lakhs of rupees. This is not acceptable. Like, what is the nonsense? Get rid of the ghosting, man. Second negative I'm going to talk about. There is no uTorrent anymore. Can you believe it, guys? They killed uTorrent. It doesn't work with the latest update. Um, it, it, I think it's something to do with 64-bit app, apps, and I think it's a 32-bit app, so it doesn't work anymore. Um, it is not a deal breaker because I have FOLX. It's a shittier version of the MuTorrent. Um, it has a very poor interface. It's very annoying. It works when it wants to, but we gotta live with it. Uh, moving on, what don't I like about Catalina? Um, so Catalina told me, dude, you need 8 GB to upgrade. So I deleted 8 GB of data. Then it decided to change its mind, and it, mind, it's mind, and it said you need 11 GB to to use this. So what is the reason you need to do that? You know, like why must I spend more of this thing? So why must I spend 3 GB more on this? I don't see any reason I need to do that. If you were saying 8 GB to the user, don't make it 11 GB and keep shifting. You know, I had to delete a lot of shit on my computer to get this to work. Forgive my language, guys. I, I'm sorry, I'm not gonna abuse anymore. Um, so the three things I don't like about it, the ghosting, the fact that uTorrent doesn't work. Like there's very few applications I use on, on the MacBook and if one of them doesn't work, it's very irritating. Um, of course, of course, the battery life won't go up if you upgrade your MacBook. It'll only go down. And that I find very, very annoying. Um, I think the RAM management bit is fine. Um, what else don't I like about it? So um, those were the negatives of MacBook, I mean, sorry, of the Mac OS Catalina. Now I shall talk about the positives of Mac OS Catalina. And this has been such a big positive, guys, that I don't care. Like, I still think this is the best thing in the world because of it. The Mac OS Catalina, now what it does is that this machine, when it used to run Mojave, the previous Mac OS, it used to heat so much, be it winter or summer, it would heat like a beep beep. If I have it plugged in, it would heat. If I don't have it plugged in, it would heat. If I'm sitting on my lap, it would heat. And I thought, you know what? I got a bad apple. There's something wrong with my machine. But I upgraded to Mac OS Catalina, and lo and behold, it is gone. I'll repeat what I'm saying. It does not heat anymore, thanks to Mac OS Catalina. That in itself is a major, major, major deal maker, guys, and it's free. So here's, uh, here's what you all should know. If you guys have a, a MacBook which is heating up on Mojave or an olding operating system, you have nothing to lose, guys. Give Mac OS Catalina a shot. Um, in a worst case scenario, I suggest you, you take uh, an external hard drive and you connect it with your uh, USB slot and you probably do a time machine backup because if you hate Mac OS Catalina and it doesn't fix your heating problem, you can always go back. But for, in my case, it completely went away. Like it used to be eight on 10 hot earlier and now, um, it's probably a 1.5 on 10 hot. It is almost the coolest machine I've ever used. I'm not exaggerating. Um, so I'm very, very happy about that. 
because I was very upset with Apple because Apple released uh, a machine which used to heat up and all that. But little did I know that a software upgrade would fix that. So um, another remedy I probably want to recommend all of you, if you have a macOS Mojave and you don't want to go forward and get the macOS Catalina, I suggest you simply uh, do a backup of all your files and you reset the computer to factory settings and then you um, try using macOS Mojave and then you put your files back and see if it still heats up. If that still happens, you can always go to macOS Catalina. Another positive, I definitely feel that these icons along the sidebar or this bar at the bottom are much, much better than before. Um, I'm also gonna talk about some more positives. Just give me a moment. Um, you now have an option of screen time, and I think that's very good. I, I haven't used it enough, guys, but I still recommend it. Um, it took just 40 minutes for me to complete it. Um, the icons have a refined, rounder look to them. Um, in the Notes app, you can probably have notes displayed in this variety, or you can have them displayed as icons, like in a phone. Um, Apple Music looks way cleaner. Now, good, I hit on this point. Apple Music looks way cleaner, but the fool does not work. It doesn't work anymore. I don't know what you've done, Apple. You've absolutely ruined Apple Music on both the phone and on your computer. It just is a bozo. Like, it's so laggy. It's so laggy that, you know, by the time I hit on something, obviously it won't happen right now, it won't replicate itself because I'm on, I'm using it right now and it's gonna just go boom, boom, boom. But look, it's just irritating as ever. Like, Apple Music is something I don't use anymore. Spotify is my best friend. It always works. It works when I want it to work and things like that. I have nothing bad to say about Spotify. I have only good things to say about that. But Apple Music, though it looks much more cleaner, it's become such a pain in the ass and it's become so perverted that you don't want to mess it with mess with it anymore. Apple Music Apple Music doesn't work anymore. Like it's terrible. It keeps freezing. iTunes is gone. They've renamed it Apple. Apple is trying to minimize things and make it easier, but for us OG users it's only become more difficult. Apple Music I never use. I always use Spotify. More or less, Mojave um, and Catalina are very, very similar. I don't see many differences. I don't have an iPad, so I can't use that as a second screen and use it in conjunction. Um, there's a new AirDrops application or look. Um, iOS works as smooth. I mean, um, iCloud works as smooth as before. Um, a few things I don't like about uh, iCloud sometimes is that it fails to show up. And oftentimes I find that it just is taking a long time to think about things. And, and what's up with that? I don't like that. Why are you thinking so much, man? Um, rest, macOS is good as ever. It's the best operating system in the world, um, especially with the Catalina. Now the fact that it doesn't heat up anymore, that's a big plus. I strongly recommend you get the macOS Catalina for the simple reason that it fixed my heat issue. The purpose of making this review was to let you know that um, it's a good iterative upgrade. If you are suffering from heat issues, macOS Catalina might just be your best friend. Um, apart from that, the, the changes you more or less expect. There are a few wallpapers now um, which you can use on this. The wallpapers are, you know, something like this. This is a macOS Catalina wallpaper. Um, no, this was there before also. I want to show you the other one. There's one off the beach or something like that. Okay. I don't know, it's being very unfriendly, but there you go. Yeah, this one. So there, this is the one which they have on the Mac OS Cartina. And um, I mean, come on, dude. I'm not gonna upgrade my operating system for a wallpaper. I know you're thinking that, so don't do that, guys. Overall, if you're facing some issues with uh, with your machine in terms of heating up, do upgrade to the Mac OS Cat to Mac OS Catalina. I'm so tired of speaking now, guys. I'll see you when I do. Thank you for watching.